Hey, what's going on guys? It's No Shoes and we're back with another one and today we're going to be reacting to Boom Headshot from Your Favorite Martian. This was suggested by Sauce Boss Ross, so thank you Sauce Boss Ross for the suggestion. Keep them coming in the comments down below guys, I really do appreciate them. If you're enjoying these Your Favorite Martian videos, make sure you all hit like and subscribe, that way I know you want to see more of them. But without any further ado, let's get right into this. Let's see what Boom Headshot is all about. Let's see what your favorite Martian has to say. Let's get it. And it looks like we're starting out with a uh, Doom style uh, first person shooter. So this will be real cool. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. Boom Headshot! Boom Headshot! When the album drops, we like Okay, that was a quick transition. Hold up. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. Boom, headshot, boom, headshot, win the album. That was a really poorly done cut, in my opinion. Like, it was a little too lagging. Like, when the click happened, we should have cut. But they waited for the reload or the, the pump animation to end fully and reset back to normal. And it just leads to an... Like a very abrupt and just strange cut. Here we go. Boom, headshot, boom, headshot. When the album drops, we're like, boom, headshot, boom, headshot, boom, headshot. When the album drops, we're like, boom. I step in the arena. I Wait, hold up, hold up. There's one dude that up in the front that looks like Freddie Mercury or something. Or yeah, right there in between Ray's hands with the sunglasses. He got the mustache for it at least, but let's keep it going. I step in the arena, I get my knuckles cracking. I try to keep it clean, but who knows what could happen. They say I nerd rage, they don't understand. If they keep talking trash, bitch, my grandmama used to tell me one. Okay, so we're getting some references to nerd rage right here. Said, oh wait, we're getting the alien from, uh, oh shoot, what's the song from like Jupiter, whatever that song was called? We got the little alien boy. Let's see, are these people from a different video? I'm not sure what those people are from. Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe that's one we haven't checked out yet. But he took them out. Let's see where this goes. Bitch, my grandmama used to tell me one day I would be king. And that it could be me to put these dreams into a sling. And fling them like a bullet till they beam the whole ruling regime. And the melon that I tell them that I'm gonna reign supreme like Boom! Headshot! Boom! Head Yo. This track has a completely different vibe to all the other ones. And right off the rip, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I'm disappointed, man. Ray's voice on that first little verse section there, so thin. It feels like there's no substance to it at all. Super thin and just quiet and it felt hidden. Like right within the beat as opposed to even being like at the top of the beat or just above it. But let's keep this going. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, and then this hook section is just really repetitive. It's not super interesting in any way. Just boom, headshot, boom, headshot. Then there's really nothing else going on. The album drops we're like boom headshot, boom headshot, boom headshot. When the album drops we're like boom. Working every week at a job I can't stand. I'll always tell myself that one day I'll be the man. What we gonna do tonight, brain? We're gonna take over the world, gonna take over the world, gonna take over the world. No, 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 no. I really like the idea of this being. A Doom style shooter and him going through the dungeon clearing it out. That's a really cool idea I like the idea for the video. I think it's a uh, I think some of the videos implementation is a uh, or application of the ideas they had isn't really working that well, but um It also feels like a lot of the bars that we're getting are self referential to your favorite Martian tracks which is cool. It feels very full circle, but at the same time, it kind of feels like stuff that I've already heard, and I'm not really interested in hearing it again. Gonna do tonight, 
Yeah, again, this is from Take Over the World. Before we were talking nerd rage, and he said, my, my grandma told me one day I would be king. Maybe this is supposed to be a different type of song than I am imagining it is supposed to be, but I'm not very intrigued right now at all, honestly. Okay, and then a call back to 8-Bit World. Hold up. I gotta check something. Like, what is this supposed to be? Is this just, uh... This is a cover of Boom Headshot written by Zealous One and B-Bear. Mechanical license acquired. So is this not... This is not the official version. I don't even know what this means. Streaming the song has helped us pay for the project. Alright, let's keep it going. I don't know what's going on, but I'm disappointed. And then we come right back to the same hook, bruh. Say something else, man. What is this all about? Like, I have been thoroughly impressed by pretty much every song we have heard by them. And this one is just not doing it for me. Is this the Game of Thrones season eight or whatever season it was? Where's the Starbucks cup, bruh? I'm looking for it. Okay, that thing is nasty. We have not seen that before. Oh, yo. Slow. <laughs> that was the perfect frame to come back in on, man. That thing, an apple bottom for sure, but you don't even need the jeans. Bro, and what is that? Hold up. We got to come back. A guitar in the butt cheeks too, bruh. That is crazy. Yeah, so what I'm getting the gist of is that it appears this song is supposed to be a kind of your favorite Martian collage. They wanted to honor all the other tracks they did with this one, and um, it that's fine. That seems great to me. That seems fine. But I would say that there is not enough content in the verses to make their tribute feel fresh. Instead, it feels like we've had them pick and take pieces out of other tracks smash them together, and then call it a song. Which, this is not horrible. This is not a failure musically. Like, the instrumental is decent. The, the uh, hook section, it's a little long, it's a little boring, but it's not bad. The verses, again, they're not bad. But it's it just doesn't feel creative. It doesn't feel like this is a fresh take on... They're old tracks. It feels like they just needed an extra song on the album or, you know, whatever they were doing exactly when they were releasing this and that they just were like, okay, boom, 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 boom. Good to go. Like, nah, you got to tweak it, bro. This, this isn't working for me. I 
I mean, it's all right, man. You know, that last little sequence with like the it monster with everything growing out of it and the high pitched voice before we got to the nerd rage part, before we got there, that was probably my favorite part of the whole track. And that is a very, that's a very low standard right there. I'll tell you that right now. But, you know, all love to Ray William Johnson, your favorite Martian, everybody involved. I know there was some debacle going on with the contracts for all these tracks and he lost the masters or whatever it was at one point, lost the rights to them and uh, took 10 years to get them back. And that's when your favorite Martian finally made it back. That being said, though, I think this song could have stayed put away. I don't think we needed this one back. We could have left it alone. We could have forgotten it existed. And I don't think anybody would have really missed it. If you disagree with me, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not hurt by that. But I think if you're honest with yourself, you'll you'll realize a lot of the things I'm saying are are correct. That was the most original part of the track that was said the whole time was the end. Something about you ain't seen these balls or whatever. Either way, that was Boom Headshot from Your Favorite Martian. That was suggested by Sauce Boss Ross. So thank you, Sauce Boss Ross, for the suggestion. Keep them coming in the comments down below, guys. I'm sure there are other Your Favorite Martian tracks left out there that we haven't reacted to and ones that I will like much more than the ones we have checked out these past two weeks. But let me know in the comments. Make sure you all hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to see more videos like this. Much love to everybody in the No Shoes Gang, and I will see you all next time.